Welcome along my friends to this match reaction after Liverpool draw 1-1 with Chelsea away in the opening Premier League game of the season. Not really much use to either manager that one. Both sets of fans are certainly going to feel like their team could have done better, perhaps gone on to win the game. I'm going to take you through my thoughts and let you guys let me know yours in the comment section. Do drop a like on the video and of course hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. This match reaction is brought to you proudly in association with our sponsors at manscaped.com. Scan the QR code on the screen now to get yourself 20% off and free shipping and any orders you place at manscaped.com using the Anfield Agenda referral code or you can put in Anfield 20 if you so wish. Whether it be the performance package the manscaped lawnmower 4.0 or whatever your little heart desires a friends and manscaped have got you covered right that is frustrating because we started this game very well i thought that we looked sharp i thought that mohammed salah in particular in those opening 15 20 minutes looked really bright diaz was bubbling on the left let me just say alexis McAllister is a gift of a football player yes the man of the match today went to enzo fernandez and i can't argue against it i think enzo put in a really good shift for chelsea deserving of his man of the match accolade but there's some promising signs there for liverpool same old story though too easy to concede too easy to get straight through the center and lots of questions to be asked about both of our fullbacks in all honesty uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold was being rinsed at one point. Robbo was being pretty rinsed in the first half by Rhys James and uh, Raheem Sterling. But all in all, look, we should have expected a draw, shouldn't we? You know, draws with Chelsea are what we do, whether it be in a cup final or in a league game. At the end, both had chances to win it. Darwin Nunes, very unlucky. That uh, deflection took a shot just wide of Sanchez's post. But I feel of the two sets of fans right now, Chelsea fans probably have more to feel they missed out on. I think a fair draw for us. Uh, I mean, probably lucky to go with a draw. Possession in the second half was very much in Chelsea's favour. And that's what frustrated a lot of us. I did say at halftime that this game could be won or lost by what the managers do in that 15-minute period. Liverpool made the first double change, bringing on uh, Curtis Jones and Darwin Nunes, taking off Lucho Diaz and Diogo Jota. And I think everybody was in agreement. But from that point, not much else. Salah looked very happy to go off when he did. And you don't, you don't mind seeing that. You never want to see a player being happy going off. Ben Doak, bright when he first came on. Struggled to get into the game after that. I thought Elliot looked bright in parts. Uh, Alisson made a couple of big saves. But the old reliable thing for us is we're just too easy through the middle. Too simple, too central. Boom, one ball and we're unlocked. I got very worried at the end when Mudry came on for Chelsea when our legs were tiring. But all in all, one shot on target away from home, it's not great. Let's be honest, it's not great. We would have hoped for better than that. Um, we'll build on it though, and it's better than losing. This was a game that neither set of fans, neither team would have wanted to lose. And what's going on at the minute with Caicedo and the battle between the two clubs in that regard? At least leave them with something, we can build on it. But I can't help but say what I've said all along. I ask you this. Have Liverpool given themselves the best opportunity to get off to a quick start? The answer has to be no. Bringing in two players to replace eight that have left just isn't enough numerically. And off the bench, we still weren't strong enough. Yes, you can argue that we were stronger than Chelsea's bench potentially, but one shot on target away from home. You can't, you can't just ignore that fact. And don't get me started on Anthony Taylor. Some of those disgusting decisions should be looked over by the PGMOL and the Premier League. Nobody will ever convince me. I don't care how many referees they roll out. I don't care how many excuses they put out. Nobody will ever convince me that that was not a penalty. It was a blatant penalty. And to not even see Anthony Taylor sent to the monitor is nothing short of a disgrace. Then we can talk about Chuck Omenka's high foot. Was he lucky to stay on the pitch? I think give the lad the benefit of the doubt. As Connor said to me when we were speaking... He was coming in at an angle. He wasn't face on to the player. So I'm willing to give the benefit of the doubt on that. But time after time throughout that game, Anthony Taylor just allowed Chelsea to buy cheap free kick after cheap free kick as they fell to the ground. And it's frustrating because you end up just sounding salty. And look, we didn't deserve to win the game. I'm open and honest enough to say that. But that dis disgusting referee performance, again, leaves a lot to be desired. Now, the question from our perspective is, what can we do moving on? You would hope against Bournemouth next week, Liverpool can put some goals in the bank and start building up these points. 
but it feels like a missed opportunity today because that Chelsea team is not very good. I'm going to say it again. That Chelsea team is not very good. I'm sure that they will get better. I'm sure they'll add more bodies. But we had a chance today, in my opinion, to leave Stamford Bridge with three points and we didn't. And that, for me, is, again, frustrating. Too many nearlies, too many almosts in our recent history. And I can't help but feel we missed an opportunity to put Chelsea to the sword today because I really feel we're a better side than Chelsea. But the result didn't lie. It was a fair draw. Enzo man of the match, I think, is fair enough. If you're looking for a man of the match from a Liverpool perspective, I would say probably give that award to Alexis McAllister. I thought he was phenomenal. Um, the decision to start the Ogo Jota through the centre, I think most of you guys will agree, probably didn't pay off for Liverpool. I thought that he he really struggled to get into the rhythm of the game. Um, and on Mohamed Salah, I want to just bring this back for a second because there was a lot of upset Liverpool fans in the chat to see Salah getting taken off, understandably. But I feel like the manager had to try and do something. And look, Ben Doak's a bright young man, but he's never going to be Mohamed Salah. And it was understandable to see Mohamed Salah frustrated coming off but ask yourselves this did we really create anything up until that point in the second half either down the left or the right so I think the decision to take them off I understand in hindsight you know maybe you do things a little bit differently but we didn't lose and if we are to try and take any positive from the start of the campaign it is just that that we didn't lose at Stamford Bridge today. I'm interested, of course, to know your thoughts on the big talking points, mainly the uh, the penalty decision or lack of it. What I would have understood, and what I think most of Liverpool fans would have understood, is if they sent Taylor to the monitor, and Taylor has a look, and he decides no penalty for whatever reason. But it gets very frustrating and very annoying when he's not even sent to do that. And again, I think this season in the Premier League, we're going to see an awful lot of yellow cards early doors. McAllister was booked today. I incorrectly, so I hold my hands up on that, said in my commentary that it was for diving. It wasn't. It was for gesturing for yellow. I didn't see that, so my apologies. And yeah, frustration. And too soft through the middle. And too easy to open up defensively. But I don't know if it's our fullbacks. I don't know if I should be giving out about Andy Robertson today because his task was very difficult. The pace of Reese James and Raheem Sterling down that left-hand side, our left-hand side, their right-hand side, was difficult. And I thought we defended well inside our own six-yard box. Uh, Trent with a good clearance under his crossbar. But their goal, lads, it was so soft. All Chilwell had to do was head the ball straightly through uh, turn shot goal frustrating should have defended it better uh, offside trap wasn't great I think it was Canale was too deep but Klopp will know all of this the real question that we need to know right now as Liverpool fans is what can we do to put this right who can we bring in before the window shuts because it is two weeks and a bit now to go so that's my thoughts on the game now over to you let me know your thoughts in the comment section of course please do drop a like on the video and if you haven't hit the subscribe button as you can see in the top corner 195,000 subscribers and thank you guys for your support